The Wang Gong Chong Explosion, also known as the Great Yanqi Explosion, Wang Gong Chong Calamity or Beijing Explosive Incident in Late Ming, was a catastrophic explosion that occurred on May 30, 1626, during the late reign of Tianqi Emperor, at the heavily populated Ming China capital Beijing, and reportedly killed around 20,000 people. The epicenter was a major production center of gunpowder, but it is uncertain exactly what triggered the explosion. The Wang Gongchong Armory was located about 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles, southwest of the Forbidden City, in modern-day central Shichung District. It was one of the six gunpowder factories administered by the Ministry of Works in the Beijing area, and also one of the main storage facilities of armor, firearms, bows, ammunition, and gunpowder for the Shenzhen defending the capital. It was normally staffed by 70 to 80 personnel. The explosion reportedly took place between 9 and 11 o'clock on the late morning of May 30, 1626. The sky was clear, but suddenly a loud roaring rumble was heard coming from northeast, gradually reaching southwest of the city, followed by dust clouds and shaking of houses. Then a bright streak of flash containing a great light followed and a huge bang that shattered the sky and crumbled the earth occurred, the sky turned dark, and everything within the 3 to 4 li, about 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles, area was utterly obliterated. The streets were unrecognizable, littered with fragmented bodies and showered with falling roof tiles. The force of the explosion was so great that large trees were uprooted and found to be thrown as far as the rural Miyun on the opposite side of the city, about 3 metric tons stone lion was thrown over the city wall. The noise of the blast was heard as far as Tongzhou to the east, Hexi Wu to the south, and Miyun and Chongping to the north, and tremblings were felt over 150 kilometers away in Xunhua, Xuanhua, Tianjin, Datong, and Guangling. The ground around the immediate vicinity of Wang Gongchong Armory, the epicenter of the explosion, had sunken for over 6.5 meters or 21 feet, but there was a notable lack of fire damage. The clouds over the epicenter were also reported to be strange, some looked like messy strands of silk, some were multicolored, while some looked like a black linja, rising into the sky and did not disperse until hours later. Several government officials in the city were killed, injured or went missing during the explosion, and some were reportedly buried alive in their own homes. The Minister of Works, Don Kawei broke both arms and later had to retire from politics completely. The palaces in the Forbidden City were under renovation at the time, and over 2,000 workers were shaken off the roof and fell to their deaths. The Tianqi Emperor himself was having breakfast in Quanqing Palace when the explosion happened. After the initial quake all the palace servants panicked with fear, so the emperor started running to the Hall of Union, followed only by a single guard who remained calm but was later killed by a falling tile. The Tianqi emperor's only remaining heir, the seven-month-old crown prince Zhu Sejong, died from the shock. The late Ming dynasty was already suffering domestic crisis from political corruption, factional conflicts, and repeated natural disasters, proposed to be due to the Little Ice Age by some historians, leading to peasant riots and rebellions. However, the horror of the Wang Gongchong explosion dwarfed all of those, and the imperial courts criticized the Tianqi Emperor and believed that the incident was a punishment from heaven as a warning to correct the sins of the Emperor's personal incompetence. Tianqi Emperor was forced to publicly announce a repenting edict and issued 20,000 tales of gold for the rescue and relief effort. The cause of the explosion has never been conclusively determined. Although there are multiple sources of detailed historical records, the incident happened well before the proliferation of modern science in China, and contemporary interpretations are compounded with superstitious speculations. Throughout the ages, various theories have been put forth, including gunpowder explosion, meteorite air burst, natural gas explosion and volcanic eruption, despite some hypotheses being regarded as scientifically plausible, no academic consensus has been reached. Due to the epicenter of the disaster, the Wang Gongchong Armory, being a military storage facility that dispatches 3,000 caties of gunpowder every five days, 
about 1.8 metric tons, and accidental gunpowder ignition was blamed as the culprit from the very beginning. The cause has been suspected to be poor handling during manufacturing and transport, electrostatic discharges or even sabotage by later Jin spies, and sometimes cited as proof of the decline in the Ming government's administrative quality. The Bolide hypothesis argues that the description and magnitude of the explosion is more consistent with a meteor exploding midair at low slash medium altitude while entering the Earth's atmosphere, and that such an air burst may or may not have caused the Wang Gongchong Armory stored gunpowder to explode secondarily. The descriptions of a preceding flash, roaring sound and rumbling, and showering of rocks and grains of metal bear resemblance to modern records of exploding bolides, such as the well-witnessed 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor. Description of the blast aftermath can also find some resemblance to Leonid Kulik's finding of the air burst obliteration of Siberian forests by the Tunguska event three centuries later. However, no evidence of a classic meteorite strike impact crater has been found. And the description of an alleged mushroom cloud suggests another cause for the explosion. Coincidentally, the Tunguska event, which was a 10 to 30 megaton airburst, more than 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb, in the upper middle troposphere, at 5 to 10 kilometers above the surface, that also didn't leave any impact craters. Another notable issue is the mushroom cloud witnessed after the explosion was actually specifically described in historical records as resembling a Chinese lingia, Ganoderma lucidum, which is usually more fan-shaped like an upward-facing shower head rather than the more umbrella-like shape of a typical mushroom, suggesting an explosion likely occurring mid-flight rather than arising from the ground. The description of other multicolored Messy silk type clouds also have resemblance to the smoke trails of exploding medarbolides witnessed in modern times. And that was the story of the Wang Gongchong explosion. A terrifying event with an unsolved cause. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe for more. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.